Hey you guys and welcome to a book haul. Yep, the first of many. Um, so this book haul is from eBay and I got all these books for one seller for 20 bucks. So yeah, that was a good deal. It's a hit or miss thing and I actually bought two more lots by the same seller. But right, but right now I'm only doing the first one. Sorry for my phone. Um, so let's start with some of the yeah books. And the first one is Be Honest, You're Not That Into Him Either. Raise Your Standards and Reach for the Love You Deserve by Ian Kenner, PhD. Uh, I'm not sure if she's a real PhD, and it sounds like an interesting book, but I'm probably not going to keep it. But I'll read the inside flap. Avoid the booty call call blues and get the love and sex you deserve come on admit it he may me not be that into you but you were never really that into him he was never the one but you lower your standards and dated him in the meantime why for any number of reasons you were lonely you were horny you thought dating him was better than being alone all your friends are getting married you name it and before you knew it you got hung up on the jerk go figured so this is just like a bunch of relationships spiel i guess so I'm probably not going to end up keeping it, but it seems kind of funny. I'm never going to read it in a million years, though. Um, it's, like, short, and I might attempt it in the meantime before I give it away, but I don't think so. And then there is There's No Place Like Home, Secrets of My Hollywood Life, a novel by Jen Kalinete. And this is a series. This is part of a series uh, of the Secrets of My Hollywood Life with, I guess, people being famous and then dealing with it I don't really know I'm not going to read this book so I'm probably gonna end up giving it away uh, I know I think I saw like the first book so I'm not sure I think they all know each other or something so mm, there goes that one too <clears throat> um, the next book is messy by Heather Cox and Jessica Morgan and this one seems interesting the first book follows this girl and she uh, she finds out that her dad is really this famous Hollywood actor and she moves there and she and her sister half sister start getting close but you know it's Hollywood <laughs> so and they be messy I had to make the joke so this one seems way more interesting than those last two uh, uh, I may or may not keep it I'm not sure if I want to buy the first one or not but we'll see <clears throat> And then the next book I got is Just Flirt by Lauren Bowers. And I'm going to read the back real quick. Dee Barton is planning to spend her summer putting the moves on the guys who come to stay at her family's campground. Flirting is fun and makes everyone involved feel good, which is pretty much the exact opposite of her relationship with her toxic ex-boyfriend, ex Blaine. Sabrina Owen's summer plans include keeping her over-the-top karaoke DJ mother in check, maintaining her status as the queen of the popular crowd, and being the perfect girlfriend to Blaine. Unsurprisingly, Dee and Sabrina hate each other, but when a blog called The Super Flirt Chronicles embroils them both in a foolish lawsuit, they must team up and embark on a risky flirt-filled plot to set things right again. Now, it sounds interesting. It probably wouldn't have been something I bought by itself, but like in a group. It, I might give it a read. It seems interesting enough for that. And huh. uh, the next book is Body of Water by Sarah Dooley. And this one sounded really, really interesting. And I'm going to read the inside flap. 12-year-old Ember Trailer's home burned in fire, most likely set by her best friend, a boy whose father believes Ember's family are witches. Yes, Ember's mom reads tarot cards as a business, but her friends set the fire to warn the family before his dad did something even worse to them. Now the family is homeless and living in a campground. They have no money, Ember's beloved dog is missing, school is going to start, and Ember and her younger sister have no clean clothes, no notebooks. The only place Ember feels at peace is the floating in the middle of the link at the campground. She has to make a fresh start, can she? So this one sounds really interesting, so I can't wait to um, get dig into it. Homeless but not hopeless, so that sounds interesting. Um, the next book that I got was So Silver Bright. Um, for some reason, when I was looking at the uh, I thought this was the first book, but no, this is actually the third book in the Theater Illuminati. Illuminati trilogy and I've been kind of wanting to read the trilogy for a while uh, the first book is called eyes like stars 
And I'm going to just read the synopsis real quick for you guys. Um, all her world a stage. Berta Shakespeare Smith is not an actress, yet she lives in a theater. She's not an orphan, but she has no parents. She knows every part, but she has no lines of her own, that is, until now. Welcome to the theater alumni, where the actors of every play ever written can be found behind the curtain. They are born to play their parts and are bound to the theater by the book, an ancient and magical tomb of scripts. Birdie is not one of them, but they are her family, and she is about to lose them all in the only home she has ever known. And see, that sounds so interesting. So um, I'm definitely going to pick up the first two in the trilogy, and yeah. So score one for me. The next book is Safe Haven by Nicholas Sparks, and yeah, I'll just read the inside. Um, when a mysterious young woman named Katie appears in a small North Carolina town of Southport, her sudden arrival raises questions about her past. Beautiful yet self-effacing, Katie seems determined to avoid forming personal ties until a series of events draws her into two reluctant relationships. One with Alex, a widowed store owner with a kind heart and two young children, and another with her plain spoken single neighbor, Joe. Despite her reservations, Katie slowly begins to let down her guard, putting down roots in a close-knit community and become increasingly attached to Alex and his family. But even as Katie begins to fall in love, she struggles with the dark secret that still hunts and terrifies her, a past that has set her on a fearful, shattering journey across the country to the shirt to sheltered oasis of South Park. With Joe's empathetic and stubborn support, Katie eventually realized that she must choose between a life of transient safety and one of risky rewards, and that in the darkest hour, love is the only safe haven. Okay, cheesy, but it sounds interesting like all Nicholas Stark's novels, and I do have quite a bit of them, and I didn't have this one, so I'll just add that one to the collection. Uh, the next book I was really excited to get is Before You Go by James Pressler. And, and any time you feel the pain, hey Jude, refrain. The summer before his senior year, Jude, yes, he's named after the Beatles song, gets his first job, falls in love for the first time, and starts to break away from his parents. Jude's house is kept dark. No one talks much. It's been that way since his little sister drowned in a swimming pool when Jude was supposed to be watching her. He was watching her. He looked away for just a moment. He was only nine years old, and he never truly grieved for her or for the emotional deaths of his parents, who refused to talk about what happened. Seven years later, Jude is finally, finally starting to live, really live, and then life spins out of control again. So I think this is the debut novel for this author, and it seemed really interesting, so I was really happy to get it. And then the next book that I got, i actually been kind of wanting to read for a while, and it is Bella's by Jen... Kalinate. And yeah, she was actually, uh, yeah, she wrote this series as well. I think all of them, uh, but this one seemed more my speed. It's two Southern girls, one life changing event. Um, 15 year old Isabel Scott loves her life by the boardwalk on the supposed wrong sides of the tracks in North Carolina. But when tragedy strikes, a social worker sends her to live with her long lost uncle and his prep privileged family. Isabella is taken away from everything she's ever known and unfortunately inserting her into the glamorous lifestyle of Emerald Cove doesn't go so well. Her cousin Maribella Monroe isn't thrilled to share her life with an outsider. In addition to dealing with all the rumors and backstabbing that lurk beneath their classmate's southern charm, Isabel finds out that Uncle Bill is actually her biological father, which make these teenage southern bellas sisters. So, wow, did they just give away the whole plot on the back? I don't know. But it seems interesting. Um, I really can't wait to finally get into it. And then... Here we go. The next book that I've been kind of wavering on, so I'm really glad it was kind of in here. And it is Teen Human by Justin Labrastier and Sarah Rees Brennan. And let's see, it's basically self-explanatory, but I'll read it anyway. When a vampire shows up at Mel's high school, it's up to Mel to keep her best friend from falling in love with him. Add a mysterious disappearance, a cranky vampire cop, a number of unlikely romantic entanglements, and the occasional zombie, and soon... Mel is hip deep in adventure and is equal parts hilarious and poignant. So I guess this is a first book in a series. Um, <clears throat> and I've been huh, sort of wanting to read it, sort of not. So the fact that it was in here, I just took it at fate. Um, 
Yeah, even though she's team human, I'm usually on the vampire side, so this is going to be awkward. <laughs> so, the second to last one is Divine Intervention. And when I read the synopsis for this book, I was just like, ah, yes, thank you. <laughs> so, here we go. Um, when Tala Tapuza finally arrived, Megan and Heidi made their way into the... No, hold on. That's, like, not the one I wanted to read. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Sometimes I forget. Okay. This, there is a great legend of the guardian angel who traveled on handsome wings across time and space for the human girl he loves, slaying those who would threaten her with a gleaming sword made of heavenly light. This is not their story. Jeremy Hancock is Heidi Devane's guardian angel, sort of. He's more of an angel trainee in heaven's soul rehabilitation program for wayward teens and he's just about to get kicked out for having too many absences and for violating too many of the ten commandments for the dead heidi meanwhile is a high school junior who dreams of being an artist but has been drafted onto her basketball team because she's taller than many a grown man for as long as she can remember she's heard a voice in her head one that sings leonard skinner offers up bad advice and yet is company during those hours she feels most alone when the unthinkable happens these two lost souls must figure out where they went wrong and whether they can make things right before heidi's time is up and her soul is lost forever so this seemed really, really good, and I was really happy to get it, and, ah, uh, yes, I just cannot wait. And then, maybe, like, the whole reason I maybe bought this thing, besides the fact that I got all these books that I was interested in, it's A Mid Summer's A Nightmare by Cody Keplinger. And if you guys don't know, she is the one who did, um, The Duff, The Designated Ugly Fat Friend book. Yes, and I've been wanting to read her book, so I bought this one, and I also want her other book, Shut Out, but I haven't gotten that one yet, so, huh, so I can't wait. Um, we just read the back. <clears throat> Wilsa Joni's dream summer with her divorced dad has turned into a nightmare. She just met his new fiancé and her kids. The fiancé's son happens to be, what's his name, Whitley's one night stand from graduation night. Just freaking great. Where she totally doesn't fit in with her dad's perfect new country club family. So Willie acts out. She parties. Hard. So hard, she doesn't even notice the good things right under her nose. A sweet little future stepsister who is just about the only person she's ever liked. A best friend, even though Willie swears she doesn't do friends. And a smoking hot guy who isn't her stepbrother, at least not yet. It will take all three of them to help Willie get together through her anger and begin to piece of her family together. So, yeah, I've been really wanting this book. Ha! Uh, my friend is probably going to read it first, though, because I have so many books and I'm probably not going to get to it. But I'll probably read Shut Out first when it gets here, I'm just saying, because I want to read that one even more. So, yeah, those are all the books I got for 20 bucks. And I think for 20 bucks, I didn't do half a bad job. And so, yeah, you guys, tell me which books that you... Uh, liked that you were interested in? Did you add any of them to your wish list? Have you read any before? Did you like them? You hate them? You recommend them? Um, <clears throat> I would love to know. So, more book calls to come, and I'll, I will see you guys later because lots more to talk about. Bought three lots from the sailor <laughs> seller. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye.